Hello guys, Hugo the Cat here with another video on Brawl Stars. Now today I'm going to do a Brawl Brawl tier list, which is actually a very difficult one for me to make because there's so many opinions that to follow. Now, if you guys stay for another video, you will find out who the best Brawl Ball, Brawler and Brawl Ball is, as well as a surprise box opening at the end so we could try and get Sprout. Now, before you start doing hate comments, I have to had to average about a lot of opinions. So many varied opinions. But first we're gonna start with the F tier. And so the very first ball F tier is A bit. He may be a good defender, but attacking he's horrible. So slow to pass it's just really bad to go and score a goal. Now for the D tier, we're gonna do some tick. This tick, my man Tick is right here. He is so bad at close range. Even though he can block a ball from going to the ball, he's just, if you go close to him, there's no chance he can stop you. This is followed by a ball. He, same thing. If you go farther away from him, he cannot hit you at all. That's very bad, especially because of Brawl Ball maps, but half of them are not super close range. Now, this is also followed by Leon. He's just an average brawler, but he the far range maps he's just not good. Far, far the range, followed this. Now we're gonna do mortis for the D tier. This is gonna be surprising. There's some people that are really gonna mortis, which makes him an S tier. But then there's a lot of people trying to copy them and do more than bubble, which never really works. So he goes D tier for that. Also is crow. He does chip damage for Brawl Ball, but doesn't really do much anything else. Finally, Piper. Except for maybe one or two maps that he's really good at. The rest, she's horrible at. Don't use her. Not really too much. Followed by the C tier. First ball we have is Barley. Now, Barley's an... Uh, he could go B tier. He's an average brawler. He's pretty okay. This is followed by Colt. Colt has one of he has one of the lowest pick rates and lowest win rates also. But however, there some people are just really bad at hitting all of his shots and getting damage off. Now this is followed by Dynamite. Follow as his other Barley, he's okay at this ult. He's an okay brawler. Same goes with Primo, especially with his meteor or star power, he can go really fast. But only for a few seconds and he's just average also but you can open up walls easily it's good also in, in this is mr p after his nerfs and especially his gadgets he just does so he deserves to go and see because there's so many brawls much better than him right now in the meta now we're gonna go next is brock even though there are some open maps so there's also a kind of amount, there's an amount of smallish close range maps that he just cannot do well in. Finally, we managed to see Carl. Right now, he's really bad. Comp no, he's not bad, but he's not as good as all the other balls in Ball Ball. He should be getting a buff soon. Otherwise, what's the point of him in the game? Now, we next one is a B tier. And we'll also start with B. She's a pretty average brawler. She can take them out pretty well in a good amount of time. But then she is really bad compared to all other brawlers. So now we have, next is going to be Pam. She does do a, a bit of the chip damage from far away, but she does a good amount of damage. Close range, and he close up people around her with the use of star power. Next is going to be Bo. Bo may not be the best brawler, but he's pretty average all range in all types of situations. Always use him. He's, I mean... Compared to other brawlers, you choose other brawlers in ST and number one. But for now, he's really good. Like that. Now, next one is Shelly. I mean, she may be, she may be the highest brawl, highest close range brawler. Like, higher than Bull and Primo. But her trick is, if you shoot the ball in front of you and use the super, you can open walls. And, and the ball will go in. That is a good trick. That can get you easy goals every time. Now, 
Next is Spike. Spike, pretty average. He's okay. He's good, but not like so good compared to other brawlers. That's all I have to say. Now there's Rico. Rico is re rebounds a lot. He's super bouncy, makes him very strong brawler, but then he's very squishy, and so all other brawlers can easily take him down. And finally, we have Daryl. He does have a roll, which makes him better than most of these other close range brawlers like Bull and Primo, but that's about it. That makes him so good, his roll and steel hoop star power. Everything else is just average, not really that good. Without the world, he would probably be in D tier. And now, we're going on to the A brawlers. These brawlers are the brawlers you kind of want to have on your team. And they're pretty okay, pretty good in this game right now. I'm going to start off with Rosa. She's really good for a close range brawl because her super helps her prevent damage from being taken. And she can just get the ball and into the goal if she has high health and a super, it's a pretty good baller overall. Now we have Sandy. He deserves up here because a super combined with the root sands star power, or her other star power, it just takes damage and gives health easily if you're in a storm. And now, now we have Jackie as well. She counters a lot of brawlers right now. Even though she has been nerfed, so she doesn't do as much damage as before, she still deserves A brawl A tier at least for countering and killing all the brawlers. Even though she cannot score as well but as before. Now A tier, BB. After the recent update, she's so fast. She deserves A tier. She could deserve S tier, but then there are some brawlers that deserve her more than BB can BB should. And this follows to the next brawler, J Jessie. Where is Jessie? Jessie right now is just, she's like Bo. She's one of the best average brawlers throughout the all game modes. And with her new gadget and her shocky star power, she does a lot of damage to the other, brawler, other team. This is followed by Poco. He does a lot of health. He can heal up. Other his teammates, he's really good support. If you guys have two tanks and Poco, you can do really well with them. Poco's healing is just unbelievable. This is followed by Penny. Her recent star power, so gadget, makes her blow up walls, and that can definitely help your team as in opening the goal up, so you get an easier shot. As well as splash damage from her, she's definitely a tier. Now we have S tier. These are the brawlers you definitely want to have in your team and are really good at this game. Probably one of the best. Of course, we're going to start with Frank. Oh, we actually no, forgot. Sorry about that, but we forgot about Nita. Poor Nita is just A tier. Her, her bear with Hyper Bear and Gadget takes, gives a lot of damage off and kills teammates easily. Now for S tier. Starting off with Frank. His super, so good, and if you use his gadget as well, before you do the super, he can easily take down your team. So he, if you if you are like a Shelly, and you, as Frank's using a super, and uses a gadget, so he supers, the super has no effect, and the Frank does the damage on Shelly. It's pretty good. This is followed by Gene. Jean is one of the best brawlers in meta right now. It's just overall, he's the line blowout stuff, how he easily heals up and pushes away brawlers, which is really good. And which is why they recently nerfed M star power, which is what we're going to go in a second. Now we use Terra as well. Her gadget's just so overpowering. Because that if you, if you use it, you can see who's in the bushes. Like if someone's stalking you and you just take. Use that, use that gadget, you can just see them before they get you, and you can get the ball and easily score because they're dead. Now we're going to also put uh, Max. Max, with, with a gadget, speeds past, and with a star power, and with one of her first star power, 
and her, her gadget and her star, first star power and a super just goes she can speed past the entire team and get an easy goal and now the, who's an ST who's in for number one number S, S tier right now is Sprout I don't have her she just came out it just came out recently and she could I mean it could be number one it blocks the group e the goal easily and you could just go around your easy goal there blocks the goal st stop spawns coming in however the close range it's horrible you cannot really get it and once the entire goals opened up sprout is kind of worthless after that because there's no there's no th not, nothing for it to block really with the goal and now that leaves one ball over number one, and that's M's. M's just so much damage, blocks out most of these brawlers and easily kills them. Especially with her star power friend zoner. That just pushes everyone away from the ball whenever you have it. And it just gives you an open goal every time. This is possibly the best one to use. Also, guys, if you don't agree with me, just come and tell me in the comments what I should change a bit. Don't go too hard, because that's just sad for you. And if this is my best tier list, I'm at 19,000 trophies. This, I'm considered some pro, so this makes sense. Especially for M's as being the best brawler to use in Bubble. Always have her on a team, and she will guarantee you the... Eight trophies that you get from a win. Now, this is Hugo the Cat signing off. And before you go, I'm just going to show you some of my box openings that I got from after the challenge that just came out today. So, yeah. And uh, here's another. Now, that's my mini account. Hugo the Mini Kitty. And this is what we got from the challenge. Now, we open the boxes. Nothing much. Let's see, nothing. First big box. And we don't get anything. We get gems. Pretty good. Getting a lot of coins on this, nothing really to upgrade. Now, still nothing. Okay, I expect this. My mini counts. Okay, now we can upgrade a Rico. Now, hopefully, we can get at least maybe a gadget or a better, good brawler, I mean, mythical legendary from this. You're not getting anything. Now, let's see what we get. Oh, we get something. Please. Oh, we got Daryl. I thought I had Daryl on it. I thought I already had Daryl on his account. Doesn't look like so, but. Okay, now let's go to my next account, and yeah. Now we go to my other account, the siblings account that I use a lot. And now, we gonna do some openings from this, what I got, 11 wins, pretty good. Now, let's do some of the first boxes. Don't think you got anything. Bigger more gems, that's good. Up to 103 gems now. Very good. Now, so the big boxes. Try to get something here. Hopefully, you brawler. But you never know. Now, we're getting upgrade more gems. Now, three, two. And we get something. Who do we get? We get Jackie, the old new brawler. In this account, really cool. We also get gems. And then. We open another, but then it just cuts out. Go to the next one, but we get 117 gems. We could get a mega box with this, but let's just not do it for now. Let's open the rest. We must get something from this. I just want to get something from this, please. <sighs> not, not another one. Disappointment. But you have almost 2,000 coins. So it's a lot. For this. It's just for an account like this. Now hopefully we get something from this. Oh no, we don't. It's the last box. And I think that's it for this bit one. I'm gonna upgrade all my stuff right now. Now we're gonna go next to my main account after this. And yeah. And so we are my main account. Didn't do so well, only 10 wins. Sadness, huh? But now we started doing some boxes. Hopefully, we get something here. 
even with the black to sandy the background when we really glitched it they have shown us kind of black and we we should be getting something here at least the lag that was just the type come on hit that list okay still open it's so hard to open up with a bit of lag like that oh hinges me now let's open the first one you know it's, it takes a while to do it but we can do it maybe Try, yes we got something oh looks like we got those gadget one of the better ones screenshot just to show that i have it now now let's do excellently clicking that over and over again now let's see we just got gems more more gems now we open another one Hopefully we get another gem so I can open a mega box and you can get something most likely from that. And... Do you have 30 have gems? Dang it. We have more gems, it's good. Now open on a lag. Oh, do you get something? Oh no, it's just a lag again. So laggy. Oh, we get something. What is it? Last lagging, what is it? And... Wait. Okay, we got Sharky. Pretty okay, Star Power. Not the best. Sad. We should be getting some better stuff. Okay, Sandy, Taylor, and Tech. And that's, that's it. That's it, nothing else. We, so we just get Jesse's Star Power. And we get Bo's Totem Gadget. Sad. Really. We have enough coins though to upgrade two polos to power nine, no eight. Cause I don't want to upgrade my bio. It's not really that good of an upgrade. Let's see. We have a eight. Mm, Frank maybe. Maybe Frank. I'm not sure. They maybe miss a Jean. No, I'll just do Jean. <laughs> Black Jean. Magic Puffs is actually pretty okay star power. So I'll just do the Jean. But he has enough full power in 8 9 as well. Pam. I'll just do Pam. And I think that's it for the video today, guys. Please consider subscribing. And yeah, peace.